Hello Blender lovers! Today we're going to look at how to create a quick and dirty mist effect. And a mist effect like this is extremely useful for when you want to convey a sense of distance or size. Like in this real world picture of a long street, you can see that further away objects have a bluish kind of tint. And that's due to the way that air, in, uh, that light uh, interacts with uh, air and all the particles that are um, in air. And the same with this spaceship render. I do believe that this is from District 9, I could be wrong. And you can see that they have applied a sort of mist effect to make it appear huge and also to fit into this environment here that is very dirty indeed. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have a pre-rendered image. It's just a bunch of balls in a white room with a slight depth of field. It's just for instructional purposes, so um, don't mind the image. Uh, when you're going to add a mist, it's very important that you check in the uh, uh, said depth in the passes, uh, render passes, because that's uh, the data that we're going to use to create this mist. So we'll go into the node editor and click the composite icon and then check use nodes, backdrop and auto render. So now if you go ahead and add a viewer node, um, you can disconnect the composite. Uh, this lets us so, um, preview the results as a backdrop within the node editor, and that's extremely useful. But we're not interested in the image at this point. We are much more interested in the, the uh, said depth value. And right now that's completely white. So let's go ahead and add a a map value node and it's the size that we want to change here and point one actually works quite well uh, so basically just fiddle with the values until you actually see anything and right now if it's far away it appears much brighter that's why it looks so strange so uh, Objects closer to the camera appear darker. Uh, and then we want to add a color ramp to gain further control over this image. Let's make the... Uh, I'm just dragging the sort of handles at the sides of the linear editor here. I want these foreground objects appear darker because I don't want the mist effect to apply to them. And we don't actually want this to be white. I will show you why in just a minute. But you can go ahead and click just in the white area and uh, just select a darker color for that. Okay, you can now disconnect that and then go ahead and add a color mix node. You can go ahead and take the image output from render layers in, and connect that to the top uh, input here on image. And the bottom one I'm just going to give a green color. Now you can use uh, just a separate image for, for this, uh, but I'm just going to use a, a green image to show you the actual effect. And then take the output to the view node, sorry. Okay, and now let's connect the output from the color ramp uh, to take the said depth uh, data and input that to the FAC value. And as you can see, we already have a greenish tint to the objects that are further away, and this creates the mist-like effect. So if you change this uh, color that we darkened. If you brighten it again, you will see that things start appearing way more green. You can't actually see the, the bottom balls. So let's go ahead and uh, 
you that darker value again. And you can see when you start to adjust this, you can create all kinds of effects. Like this. Now only the 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 closest objects are up here in green. That's that's quite wild. We just inverted the colors here. So yeah, so you can just play around with this until you find a result that you are happy with. And again, it's just the said depth value into a map value into a color ramp and then use that as the fac to control uh, the blending of the two images. And that's basically it. So this is Oscar from Blender Swede signing out and uh, happy blendering.